Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with your first alert forecast. 5-11 on a Wednesday and great to have you alongside. I want to get you outside with your Bob King Buick GMC first alert Skycam network from the Belleville Riverwalk. We're looking across the Brunswick and you can see over Eagle Island the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge. Let's look west from downtown Wilmington. A view from the Murkison building, same camera network. Eyes Battleship Park. You see some of the headlights here coming over that Brunswick River. You know they're not going straight when they hit the Cape Fear River. They're you know, coming up here toward the Thomas Roads. Visibility is great. You can see everything this morning. It's crystal clear and 34 degrees. Cold degrees at ILM Airport here in the top of the five o'clock hour. This north breeze adds an extra bite with the wind chill. And you say, Gannon, is the wind going to calm down today? Well, not really. A lot of the day we're going to feel those north and northeast winds uh, operate in the double digit smiles at hour. So you want to layer up to combat that. This is the map of the morning. Temperature and wind chill combo platter. 32 cold enough at Elizabethtown with a 25 wind chill. It's 34 in Whiteville, but it feels like 28 at the Cape Fear Regional Jetport in Southport slash Oak Island. Uh, 34 functions more like 27 with a wind chill. Tonight, I think winds slacken off, but temperatures do get cold and that could introduce some frost. So I care about your windshield. We could be talking about that tomorrow morning. Note the average lows for this point in February, about 37. We're going way above that into the weekend ahead of our next frontal system and daytime highs. If you've been keeping up with your first alert forecast, you know they're likely to take a step forward not backing off on that. That would be the sentiment of 60s, even as we get into weekend time, some 70s. So you'll have more opportunity to ditch the jacket. And you don't need a rain jacket for your errands for the end of this work and school week. This weekend, some nickel and dime rain chances. They may take another step forward early next week. Here's your eastern U.S. future radar. Later today, 3 p.m. case in point. Got this offshore storm still spinning its wheels, but for us, dry high pressure. Now that frontal system just kind of lays into the sea as we get into the weekend, but it's waiting for some upper level energy to get a little bit more vigorous, a little bit more enhanced as we head into the early parts of next week. So as we add some percentages to that, you see the higher numbers there for Monday and Tuesday. That would be Valentine's Day Eve. And if we're looking out to Valentine's Day, day eight, Bill Murray looks like it's going to be drying out by that time. So we'll give you a peek around the seven day there. Back to you.